In this video walkthrough, we'll take a look at the orders screen, uh, which is part of the sales menu. To access the orders screen, you'll need to first go to sales and then into orders. When you first go into this screen, you will be taken to a complete listing of all of the orders you've received through the site. You can see the uh, order number, the name of the customer, uh, the status of the order, the total dollar value of the order, uh, the date that the order was made, and uh, the date that the order was last modified. So that's the um, basic information that's available here on this page. From here, you've got a few different options. Uh, first of all, we'll take a look at the uh, order details. In order to uh, view the order details, you just click on the View button on the right-hand side for the relevant order. So when you open up that screen, you're taken into um, where you've got a few different tabs to choose from. On the Order Details tab, it's just some general information about the order and the uh, customer that's made the purchase. Payment details, payment methods listed down the bottom. Products is just the uh, products that uh, have been purchased. The order history is where you can um, update the order. So you'll see here you've got order status, which is a uh, drop-down menu with a variety of options. You've got a box here that you can tick to notify a customer. This is handy for um, being able to keep your uh, customers up to date from the back-end system. If you tick that, they will receive a notification uh, to the effect that you've updated their order status and any comments that you put in the field below this. If you wish to just put uh, private comments, uh, something for your administration only, make sure to uncheck the Notify Customer box. So once you've uh, changed the order status, tick to Notify the Customer, you can put your comment in and click the Add History button in the bottom right. You'll see now here that on today's date, here's our comment that we put in. The status is updated to complete and the customer has been notified. We're going to go back now to the orders tab again. So that's uh, all of the information that's available in the order details screen. The only other feature that you really need to uh, utilize in this order screen is the ability to print an invoice directly for your customers. In order to print an invoice, it is just a matter of placing a tick in the relevant box. And you'll see the print invoice button on the top right hand side. If you click that button, it'll open up an invoice for you to be able to shoot off to your customer with all of the uh, shipping information. And that concludes this walkthrough on orders.